सो हेलो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग वन सैंपल गेट क्वेश्चन टू एक्सप्लेन सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट इन इन्वर्टर्स सो दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन टेकन फ्रॉम इन्वर्टर्स इट वॉज आज इन द इयर गेट टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन यू कैन गो थ्रू द सर्किट डायग्राम इट इज एक्चुअली ए वोल्टेज सोर्स इन्वर्टर राइट सी हियर इट इज एक्चुअली ए वोल्टेज सोर्स इन्वर्टर वी एस आई ओके सो फ्रीक्वेंसी the switches are operated to provide uh, see here it is shown in the figure switched to provide 50 hertz square wave ac output so what is the output voltage so the output voltage is square wave output across rl load okay so that means in the case of this voltage source inverter very clearly they have mentioned the output voltage is square wave okay so very clear the shape of the output voltage is actually square wave so vs and minus vs vs and minus vs so let us suppose that so this is leg a and leg b leg b okay now which devices will conduct in the positive cycle so a plus means upper device of leg a and bottom device of leg b a plus and b minus will conduct in the positive cycle a plus and b minus will conduct understood so in all positive cycles upper device of leg a so a plus and bottom device of leg b so a plus and b minus is switched on and in the negative cycle a minus and b plus is switched on these two diagonal elements so in the negative cycle a minus and b plus is switched on and here you know whatever may be the load output voltage waveform is same output voltage does not depend on the load parameters in the case of vsi in the case of vsi output current is load dependent so when i draw the output current we have to mention the load it is actually rl load it is actually rl load because output current is load dependent and one more point here see they did not mention whether it is steady state or transient so when nothing is mentioned by default i will consider transient as steady state waveform after reaching steady state in the case of rl load see if i give dc excitation across rl the current will rise exponentially the current will rise exponentially lagging by impedance angle phi after reaching steady state so the current will rise exponentially the current will rise exponentially lagging by impedance angle phi after reaching steady state so this is negative peak minus im and positive peak plus im and what happens in the negative cycle when voltage reverses when voltage reverses see when the voltage is positive slope is positive for inductor when voltage become negative slope becomes negative that means when voltage becomes negative the current will decay exponentially in this case so when voltage become negative here the current will decay exponentially so this current will decay exponentially so this is after reaching steady state so i hope it is very clear to you right yes can you indicate which devices will conduct in each interval see during the impedance angle see here current is negative voltage is positive so instantaneous power is negative so negative power means diodes switches will allow positive power whereas diodes will allow negative power so what are the diodes of a plus and b minus a plus and b minus means d1 and d2 so here d1 and d2 will conduct here then here again current positive voltage positive instantaneous power is positive so switches will conduct switches of a plus and b minus so switches of a plus and b minus q1 and q2 so here q1 and q2 will conduct here then again in this case up to here voltage is negative and current is positive so power is negative so here diodes negative power means diodes will conduct 
See, switches will allow positive power, diodes will allow negative power. Remember that. So, negative power means diodes. What is the diode of A minus and B plus? So, diode of A minus is D4 and diode of B plus. So, D4 and D3 will conduct. So, D4 and D3 will conduct here. Then again here, voltage negative, current negative, power positive. Switches, switch off A minus, switch off A minus and B plus. So, Q4 and Q3, Q4 and Q3 will conduct. So, now very clearly they have mentioned output voltage is less than 0. That means output voltage is negative. Output current is greater than 0. Output current is positive. Identify where the voltage is negative. I think during this interval you can identify. So during this interval, during this interval, voltage is negative. Am I right? See voltage is negative and current is positive. So that means during this interval we have to take. See during this interval, during this interval, voltage is negative. Voltage is less than zero means voltage is negative and current is positive. So which devices are conducting? D4 and D3. So answer is D4 and D3. So I think it is very clear to you, right? So during this interval, voltage is negative and current is positive. So that means D4 and D3 is conducting. So answer to this question is D4 and D3. I hope it is very clear to you, right? So that means students should understand the basic concept of switching. So here, diagonal switches will allow positive power. Diagonal diodes will allow negative power. So voltage is negative, current is positive. So power is negative means diodes will conduct. Which diodes will conduct here? D4 and D3. So option D is the right answer.